Iodine Nursery Biomass Boiler. The biomass boiler can burn many things. We are burning wood chips, a locally available renewable resource. Walking floor trucks deliver the fuel right to the building. The fuel storage area also has a walking floor built in that you can see on the left. The wood chips are then pushed into a pile on top of the walking floor. This storage area can hold enough fuel for about 48 hours of use. The walking floor then drops the fuel onto the first conveyor. About six semi-loads a week are used. Each load has about 100 yards in it. The walking floor walks using huge hydraulic pumps. Fuel then passes through a screen that rejects anything that is too big. Then up the conveyor it goes before dropping down into the pressurized chamber. This chamber acts as a backflow preventer. Once full, air is pumped in to help push the fuel into the fire and keep the fire in the boiler. At the bottom of the chamber, two screws deliver the wood chips directly into the fire. Inside the boiler, you can see the step grade system. These steps move back and forth, pushing the fuel down one step at a time. Air is also pumped in through the grates, stoking the fire. This exclusive process ensures complete burn, leaving little ash. This footage is from the initial startup fire. The roaring fire can only be viewed from the outside, through the viewing window. Now that's a fire. The fire burns at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Back on the outside, you can see the three white pumps that move the steps back and forth. Anything that isn't burned falls to the de-ash screw and is removed from the boiler via the wet ash conveyor. Nails and stones from chip pallets pass right through. A computer monitors the process constantly adjusting for efficiency. A 200,000 gallon hot water storage tank allows the system to store heat during the day so there's twice as much available at night. Now that's efficiency.